Hello, today is October 17th and I saw that um, sale is pending on this property in Etna so I wanted to trespass here one more time um, because I love this property. It's 132 acres or something. Um, I can't really remember and a lot of it's wooded. I think it's so beautiful. I've snuck up here to take pictures, to walk Artie, to paint pictures um, for several years and I just think it's so beautiful. It abuts the interstate so you can kind of hear that all the time but it's still super private and beautiful and um, this is the house and it's kind of burnt down or burnt in parts but in other parts it seems to be like perfectly preserved and it's super straight um, there was some dairy cows here and if I don't get the opportunity to see this property again I wanted to sorry I just hear something um, but I think it's a little squirrel or something um, I wanted to record it so I could visit it whenever I wanted Okay, so now I'm going to start the inside tour. I'm outside right now, um, kind of close to the little L of the old house, and uh, about to go in through the barn. Uh, that's the only way in, and I didn't even know about that way in until last year. Um, this will be my fourth time ever entering the house. I just wanted to show you real fast. This is a dairy barn that fell down. Beautiful old wooden silo that has collapsed. Um, you can see that there's, you know, all that wonderful granite and stuff in the barn just fell in onto it. You can see the old stanchions there. Um, you can get a pretty good view of the old stanchions right in here that are holding it up. Beautiful old lumber. You can't buy or, or cut things like that anymore. Um, it's a shame that it's all, all rotten, but, uh, I mean, like, Look at that. That's just incredible. And I mean that granite just for the cows to walk through. I mean, you can't you can't get that now. No character now. Um, so now we're gonna walk in. This must have been like a little tool sheddy sort of area. Lots of places for storage. Um, obviously it's fallen down now, all whitewashed. And everything is so neat and organized in here. I think this is a cider press or something, maybe. Um, so much history in here. It's a shame that it's all going to be gone, I'm sure. So here's kind of into the barn area. Um, you can see the halters and the harnesses from the horses. There's definitely tractors and stuff, but I think that the last time that this place was used as an active farm, was in the 60s, so they were probably still using horses somewhat then. Um, all sorts of interesting, interesting stuff. I know it's not very bright, but some interesting um, paperwork. There's just rakes, there's sprayers for, um, you know, everything like pesticides and whatnot that you never have. I think this is just some lime on the floor uh, that's kind of disintegrated. But there's so much history in this place. Look at that beautiful apple picker. Um, just with like a cedar thing, uh, handle or whatever. It's just really interesting to me. And everything is just kind of thrown in here. Furniture, what have you. Um, bed frames, whatever you got. A little tricky to look and also but just look it's just so beautiful you couldn't it's just historic it's just they try to recreate this set you know uh, museums or something like that but it's all hanging right here I kind of like this uh, kerosene lantern thing um, I think that's cool kids shoes ball uh, box of metal Everything is just so, it's just like someone just up and left. Here's a fridge. 
Um, one thing I found that's interesting to me is, uh, look at all these wooden things. Um, they're the uprights from, like, here's a good one right there, uh, from um, trophies. And so I'm guessing someone that lived here worked at Vic Firth in Newport making those. Lots of chemicals that they don't have anymore. They put the used parts in things. It's just very interesting to me. Um, so anyway, here's here's the bunk or the kind of the shed, I guess. But I love it. So now let's head on into. Um, maybe we'll go upstairs. Yeah, let's go upstairs now. So this is upstairs in the barn. I think that this is just the second time I've been up here. Um, again, there's a lot of stuff up here. Just that's, I, I don't think that I've walked on the floor up here, but I think I could. Maybe we'll try. We'll just try to stay on where the beams are. Um, but see, it's it's all open. It's kind of fallen and stuff. I, I'm not going to walk around too much because then I definitely get busted for trespassing. But look at the interesting tall bucket. That's cool. That bed looking thing. Just so much interesting history. Like what are all these things for? And all the random, random things. Like there's still more horse pieces hanging up back there. And a bunch of glass jars and old window things. I mean, people used to not throw any of those things away. And now, and they still last. I mean, they're built not like they are now. And not really disposable um, the way things are now. So I just find that to be interesting. Just little, little things. I mean, you keep that broken thing interesting coat um, like that hoe is cool just the cords wrapped around it. I just find it really cool and here's I guess the mudroom area kind of dark but you know people's coats are Hanging right up, just like they never left. Here's coats. Now we're going to walk into the kitchen. This is probably the sketchiest room in the whole place. But here it is. This is the front door. And you can see the plaster just kind of falling through. Here's the fridge. Uh, Everything, you know, just from years and years and years of heating and thawing and freezing and water damage, probably from the fire. We'll get to the fire. Um, but it's very interesting to me. It looks like someone just rifled through all this stuff, took what they wanted, and, and left. Um, one thing I find interesting is like this Pepsi Free can. Um, I just think that that's cool. And then the one over here isn't as faded because it, it, this one gets the sun from the window. This one doesn't over the past 20 something years or 30 years or whatever. But here it is. I mean, sun dried tomatoes in there just like no one ever left. I will say this newspaper is from 1992. But that's the most recent thing in there. Um, it's on top of the oven. But. Everything else seems to be from the 80s. I don't know when the fire happened. I love this clock, by the way. I love this in here. It's an alert about a town meeting. Netna. Cute toaster. Like, this stuff is cool. Stuff in the drawers. and I mean, look at that cute little jelly cabinet or cabinet or whatever. Oh, let's see what the calendar says. What year are we in right now? This must be a pantry or something in here. It's a little hard for me to get through. Yeah. Ironing board and stuff. Okay, so the calendar 
says, I don't know what year, September 1984. September 1984. So, my guess is 84. So, you know, just a few years before I was born. That one says 1978 fair dates. So, who knows, maybe they didn't change things very well since I was eight years or something. Anyway, um, that is the kitchen. I just find it very fascinating. I mean, everything is fascinating here. Like, look at those sun-dried tomatoes still in there. Oil still in there. The miracle whip has seen better days, though. I don't want good. But anyway. Obviously, porcupines and stuff. And I think there's some porcupine quills back here that they've made some headway in. Okay, so here's the living room. Look at this door. Oh yeah, here are the porcupine quills. See, so the porcupines have just made their little house in here. I haven't seen any, but it's pretty cool. It's always too dark by the time I get into this room. This room is pretty dark. Um, but anyway, again, it looks like people just kind of rifled through here. Wallpaper. Or look okay, we're starting uh, kind of from the beginning a little bit. Grampy wanted to buy an Irish setter. Anyway, um, so clearly there was a fire, so that smoke alarm didn't do much. But anyway, a uh, whole bunch of boxes and things like that. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, this is also from 1984, so, I mean, I, th I think that that's a pretty reasonable guess as to when things are, when this place went out. Yeah, look at that fire extinguisher, didn't do much there either. Um, I think it's a fire extinguisher. And that's from 1985 slash 6. Uh, that phone book, so, yeah, 84, 85, something like that. Um, you can see outside, look at the curtains, they're kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, let's go, let's go to the scarier parts first. Um, so here's where I think the fire went down. Well, obviously you can't really see that well. I'm so sad about that, but, um, I mean, all that wood, um, all the beams and stuff are totally burnt up. Uh, and the dryer is in here, although the dryer looks fine. This is the bathroom. You can't, I'm sorry that you can't see, but the... Um, bathtub is in there, the uh, toilet is all broken, and the, the fire is up there, I, th I think, so it burnt, maybe a dryer fire or something, I don't know. This is another bedroom that you can't really get into, um, it's really dark, not the greatest room, again, fire, but cool dresser that kind of fell apart and it's all boarded up here or something um, or on this side sorry that's where the opening is cool door though that you can't use ceilings all in clothing's right there it's very interesting to me um, this goes into the basement I just can't get over how remarkably square this is like I mean the foundation stuff is pretty good I, I haven't really gone down I mean I, I stepped down here a little bit but it's not that much to see, and I was afraid of being under it, so... And it's dark, so you can't see much on the video, so we won't go down there today. But, let's walk through into kind of the front, I guess. This is where the front door is. The steps are gone. Um, yeah, so they boarded up some of these windows. It's hard to tell. Um, it used to be able to look in here, but anyway, this... Anyway. We'll just go upstairs. It's better look with a flashlight, I guess. Maybe if it doesn't completely sell before I leave, I'll come back with a flashlight and get that part. Um, but yeah, I mean, the floor is nice. Look at these old uh, pine. This is boarded up because this is the room above where the fire was. 
Um, but it's a bedroom. You can see down there. I don't know if they're going to try to fix it or what. Um, I never went up into the attic, but look at the cool, I mean, beautiful pine floors. I just think it's fantastic. I don't know if people were squatters here or what, but anyway, I like it. Look at these clothes. The scarf is kind of cool, actually. Eh, that's a neat little picture. But anyway, you can look out the window. Look at the beautiful view from the second floor. You can see the beautiful fields. I think it's gorgeous. I would love a view like this. You could watch your little cows out there. And this is a view kind of out the front. You see that beautiful old oak tree, the driveway. It's gorgeous, really. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the last bedroom we can access up here, and then I think we'll head on out. Or I guess we can access two bedrooms. We'll do the back one first. Okay. This one is kind of messy. Um, a lot of plaster fell down and stuff like that, but real exciting wallpaper. More of those fun curtains. Look at this cool painting or something. It's just crazy. Um, cool shirt. More of the wallpaper if I ever needed to replace it. It's in the closet. Um, yeah, anyway. Really interesting stuff. Some wrapping paper. I don't know if this room was used for storage or whatnot, but uh, the trees are all grown up around this. Obviously the trees wouldn't be so close. Hmm, what's this? What's in here? Canning jars. That's all. <laughs> I could use some of those right now. But anyway. Yeah, nice old pine doors and the fixtures. It's a shame if they're gonna tear it down or something like that. I would reclaim those doors. There's enough of them. You could build a smaller house and have a lot of reclaimed stuff, I would say. Kind of keep some of the old character. I think that would be cool. Like, look at these doors. You can't, it's perfect. I mean, think about it. For the last 30 years, no one's been dinging it up. You know, no one's been scratching at it. It's pristine. Look at the, it's so beautiful. And look at the hardware. I love it. This is a pretty decent bedroom. All the wallpapers off of this one. Um, has that weird linoleum-y floor. Um, but yeah, anyway. I love these hooks in the closets like that. I just love those. There's an excessive number though, but whatever. And let's go one more time um, to look out the front and, and we'll move on. Yeah. So again, this is a beautiful view from out the front. We'll go to that fallen down shed in a minute, but yeah, that's the house. Okay, so this is the inside of the milk house or something. I assume that this is where the um, bulk tank or whatever was. But I like this. It says American Spy and My Company for Explosives. I think that's cool. Um, okay, I don't know what it was for. But I love this. All these milk receipts. This pin right up here. Um, the last one. Oh, I guess it was from 1970. So, anyway. That's just cool to me, because I like cows. Um, you know, scrub off the milk tank, the bulk tank. Um, some stuff from the milking equipment. Like a box of inflations over here. Um, milk filters, fertilizer. Um, I mean, saving everything, all these feed bags. Uh, I'm assuming that this is to cool milk coming in or something. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but anyway, I love these old inflations and stuff like that. I don't think they make that anymore. Uh, 